Good morning, kids. Happy Tuesday. Today we're going to be reading Super Manny Stands Up. And this is one of our favorite books by Kelly DiPuccio. Yes, and let's read Super Manny Stands Up. For all of our little superheroes out there. Super Manny, there he is. Every day, Manny put on a different cape after school. There he is, putting on a different cape. When he wore his blue cape, he saved the world from an ocean of unsavory sea creatures. I am fearless. Hmm. In his red cape, Manny battled an angry army of zombie bears. <gasps> Roar! I am strong. He soared through the skies in his yellow cape. I am brave. And single-handedly brought down the evil cloud monsters. When legions of aliens, robots, with laser beam eyes invaded, Manny tirelessly fought them off in his purple cape. I am powerful. A green cape usually meant Manny was taking on the forest giants, de defeating them one at a time. I am invincible. Traveling to the far reaches of the galaxy to fight crime and injustice wasn't easy, but that's what superheroes do. I am super Manny, super Manny. Manny always saved his top secret undercover cape for school. And there he is going to school. Can you guess what his top secret cape is? Can you guess what it is? Hmm. I think you already know. And the invisible cape. It was the invisible cape. With it, he battled mutant monkeys. He stopped fiery comets heading straight for Earth. He faced down giant squids with long tentacles and red eyes. <gasps> Manny looked past his lunch to see where the loud voice was coming from. <gasps> hmm. Let's see where the loud voice was coming from. <gasps> oh no, tall one was towering over small one and laughing. <gasps> Move little weirdo, he said. Small one seemed to get even smaller. Oh no. Manny watched as Tall One continued his laughing and teasing. <gasps> he felt frozen, glued to his seat. So he said nothing. He did nothing. Hmm. Until he remembered his invisible cape. He remembered that he 
was a superhero and he had an invisible cape. Hmm. Manny stood up and then he did the bravest, most courageous, kindest thing he ever could have done. He said, stop it. There he is. and moved in closer. What did you say? <gasps> Manny saw a storm of evil cloud monsters swirling around Tallwin's head, but he had stared into the eyes of zombie bears, unsavory sea creatures, and forest giants before, so he didn't back down. He reminded himself, I am fearless. I am strong. I am brave. I am powerful. I am invincible. I said, stop it, he repeated a little louder this time. You're being mean. There he is. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen now. What do you think everyone else is going to do? At that moment, everyone around him remembered they were superheroes too with their own invisible capes. Stop it! Cut it out! Hey, stop it! Don't do that! Quit it! Stop that! Hmm, that's not nice! Yeah, stop it! There's everyone coming to the rescue with their invisible capes. Hmm. Tall one scowled, and then just like the legions of alien robots with laser beam eyes, he retreated. Mission accomplished. Small one was very grateful for the backup. Hmm, there's tall one going back. And there's small one with many. Because every superhero needs a sidekick. And there's small one and there's many the end and there's many and his sidekick yes this is a great story and thank you all for reading with me today bye bye thank you and have a wonderful tuesday flying fish